It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, yeah. Bismillah. Yes, 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 yes. Sheikh, I have a question. Sheikh, uh, last night when we were talking about the, the performance, um, and I asked you about the sister, alhamdulillah, um, she, well, about in general, some of the people out here say it's not proper for sisters to perform or to, to speak and things like this in public. And, and I asked you to kind of answer that. In the Nisa Shaqaiq al Rijal, women they are the one part of the society. You can't have good society if the the other part is paralyzed. So if woman everywhere saying every kind of things if we have a woman who can teach have good things to teach nothing wrong with that the way they said the voice of woman is our why they was asking prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi we say allah heard the woman who was arguing with you about her husband. That is Aura. Hmm. She was arguing with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah mentioned that in the Quran. Said now Umar in his time, he met one woman among the Sahaba. said, Umar, I know you before. Umayyir, he was, is the same woman. Khawla. I know you, you was Umayyir, small Umar. Now Allah elevated you until you come be Khalifa. Fear Allah. And people say, why this woman take the Khalifa so long? Take him, take all his time. So now I say I have to listen to her because the woman that Allah listened to her, I have to listen to her. <laughs> that is how. <laughs> <laughs> Once when said now I want decrease the dowry of the woman. Hind said, what you say is not is not right because Allah mentioned in Quran, oh Quran, you give. One of them, Qintar, and Hindu said, Qintar is big money. How you decrease the dowry of women? Say, now I said, I am wrong, she's right. So all that was happening. The woman, they asked Prophet Sallallahu to give them days that only for them. Because when they, when they, when they come with the, the men, they took all the places. Prophet told them, choose a place, and they, I will come to them, to you. If he come to them, they will ask him, he will answer. So we have to be in the proper way, like this, alhamdulillah, our woman, we are here in New York, alhamdulillah, we are here. But all what you can see, the way of Islam. So alhamdulillah for that. But you don't want women to come here to give, you know, a poem about her gene. But tomorrow, she will go today. She will go anyway, say any kind of things. We have to help them to practice the deen the way it should, should be. Hmm? But everything is our, everything is our, no? Okay. All right, um, I don't know if you guys are Okay, so um, are you guys familiar with the topless jihad day that just went on with the women who um, thought that they were liberating Muslims by walking around topless and putting different slogans on or whatever? So um, this piece is an open letter to feminine, and I'm talking about this. No one is interested in seeing your sagging breasts. If this is a man's world, then it's women like you that make it possible. Starving for attention, naked bodies, stomachs rumbling, thirsty for glares, parched, depleted thinking, connecting liberation to lewdness. Perhaps when you were majoring in the pyrotechnics of your undergarments, you didn't get the history lesson. That my beautiful Muslims have already been liberated, so you are 1,400 years too late. Men have massaged your mind by thinking your private parts are an asset to your power. Please tell me again how you represent the elevated of society, savagely equivalent to a human skin devoid of morality. 
Even Adam and Eve had the sense to use leaves when their nakedness was made apparent. So why do you connect nakedness with freedom? Tell me how oppressed blessed Mary, mother of the prophet Isa alayhi salam was. And some of you refer to her as the very mother of God that you worship. Yet Mary would only expose her face and hands wearing long dress and veil over her head. You preach that your body is yours, then tell me how you created it. How if you stopped, how if you stopped functioning, that you can create another one. As a creation of a law, I am smart enough to know that my creator bears the patent. I am not covering because of a man. It is beneath me to do so. I am using my free will to worship my creator, and I am very content with this decision. How unhappily dissatisfied are you that you must use your eight cups of white colonial racist feminist rhetoric to come save my brown, covered, and trapped, uneducated, oppressed Muslim women? Well, keep your stereotypes along with your white entitlement. Take that cape you wear around your neck and use it to cover up your chest. Because the only thing I need to get off my chest are these words. I cover up my body, but my mind is forever unveiled to the propaganda that is making men rich. Free to use your breasts and butts to sell whatever you want from liquor to sandwiches. Oh, feminine, so your exposed boobies represent the sweet freedom that I'm missing out on? I am yawning at your shock tactics. I am not oppressed, impressed by your exploitation because you look like a slave to me. Men have got you twisted. When is the last time a group of men went running through the streets topless to prove their liberation? The free thinkers are laughing at you. You really brought into the male ideology oppressing you that nakedness is connected to freedom. Well, sorry, feminine, you're just naked slaves of man. As a Muslim hijabi woman, my mind will hit you before my body ever will. I don't cover beautiful breasts out of shame. I cover beautiful breasts out of dignity. So perhaps I can teach you a thing or two about liberation with this pen. So feminine, I've already tasted my freedom, and I will never need you to save me. Islam already did, so go ahead and put on a shirt.